Semiconductor chips are the foundation of modern electronics, playing a crucial role in everything from smartphones and computers to automobiles and medical equipment. These tiny yet powerful components are created through an incredibly intricate and highly precise manufacturing process that takes place in specialized facilities known as semiconductor fabrication plants, or FABs. The production involves multiple stages, including silicon purification, wafer fabrication, photolithography, doping, etching, deposition, and packaging. Every step must be carried out with extreme accuracy, as even the smallest imperfection can render a chip defective. In this video, we'll take a closer look at how semiconductor chips are made, right here on History of Simple Things. The journey of a semiconductor chip begins with silicon, the most commonly used material for chip production. Silicon is derived from quartz, a natural mineral composed of silicon dioxide. The first step in the process is purifying the silicon to create highly pure silicon ingots, typically with a purity level of 99.99%. This is done through a process called the Chokralski method where a seed crystal of silicon is dipped into molten silicon and slowly pulled out while rotating, forming a large cylindrical single crystal silicon ingot. Once the ingot is grown, it is precisely sliced into thin wafers using a diamond saw. These wafers, usually 300 mm in diameter, are then polished to an atomically smooth surface to prepare them for further processing. Once the wafers are prepared, the process of photolithography begins, which is essential for creating the intricate circuits on the semiconductor chip. Photolithography is similar to photography, where a light-sensitive material called photoresist is applied to the wafer. A photo mask containing the circuit design is placed over the wafer, and ultraviolet light is shined through it. The light exposes specific areas of the photoresist, hardening it in those areas while leaving the unexposed parts soft. The unexposed regions are then chemically removed, revealing the pattern of the microcircuit. This process is repeated multiple times with different masks to create multiple layers of transistors and interconnections on the chip. After photolithography, doping and etching are used to modify the electrical properties of the silicon and refine the circuit patterns. Doping is the process of introducing impurities, such as phosphorus or boron, into the silicon wafer to alter its conductivity. This is done using ion implantation, where high-energy ions are fired at the wafer to embed the desired elements in specific regions. Once doping is complete, etching is performed to remove unwanted material. There are two main types of etching. Wet etching, which uses liquid chemicals to dissolve materials, and dry etching, which uses plasma or reactive gases to precisely remove layers. The combination of doping and etching defines the fundamental electronic properties of the transistors that will eventually form the functional parts of the semiconductor chip. Another critical step in semiconductor fabrication is deposition, where thin films of various materials are added to the wafer to build up the layers necessary for the chip's functionality. There are several deposition techniques, including chemical vapor deposition, physical vapor deposition, and atomic layer deposition. These processes allow for the controlled addition of metals, oxides, and other materials that form the conductive and insulating layers of the chip. Deposition is followed by chemical mechanical polishing, which smooths out the wafer surface between layers to maintain precision in the circuit design. This process ensures that each new layer is evenly distributed, 
preventing defects that could interfere with the chip's performance. As the semiconductor chip nears completion, interconnection layers are added to enable communication between the different transistors and components. This is done using a process called metallization, where tiny copper or aluminum wires are deposited onto the chip using a combination of photolithography and electroplating. These interconnections form the pathways that allow electrical signals to travel through the chip, enabling it to process and store information. The final layers of the chip are covered with protective coatings to prevent contamination and physical damage. Once the wafer is fully processed, it undergoes an extensive testing and quality control phase. Automated systems inspect the wafer for defects using advanced microscopy and electrical testing techniques. If the wafer meets quality standards, it is diced into individual chips using a precision saw. These individual chips, also called dies, are then packaged to protect them and facilitate their integration into electronic devices. Packaging involves mounting the chip onto a substrate, connecting it to external leads or solder bumps, and encapsulating it in a protective material such as plastic or ceramic. The final package chip is then tested once more to ensure it meets performance specifications before being shipped to manufacturers for use in consumer electronics. The entire semiconductor manufacturing process can take several months, with each wafer undergoing hundreds of steps before becoming a functional chip. The industry is constantly pushing the limits of miniaturization, with transistor sizes shrinking to nanometer scales. Cutting-edge chips today contain billions of transistors packed into an area smaller than a fingernail, allowing for the incredible computational power found in modern devices. This level of precision and complexity requires state-of-the-art facilities, massive investments, and a highly skilled workforce. The process of making semiconductor chips is continuously evolving, driven by the demand for faster, more efficient, and more powerful technology. Cutting-edge advancements like extreme ultraviolet lithography allow manufacturers to create even smaller and more complex transistor designs, pushing the limits of miniaturization. Researchers are also exploring 3D chip stacking and new materials like gallium nitride and silicon carbide to enhance performance and energy efficiency. As chips become more advanced, the manufacturing process grows even more precise, requiring state-of-the-art facilities and massive investments in research and development. With billions of transistors now fitting onto a single chip, the industry remains at the forefront of technological innovation, shaping the future of everything from artificial intelligence to space exploration. The semiconductor revolution is far from over. It's only just beginning. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.